You're welcome to the second exercise of the working with topologies in ArcMap and Arc Catalog series of exercises. And now I'll explain how to use a topology object we've created in the previous exercise in order to automatically find and easily remove all topology errors in feature classes participating with topology according to rules and other settings we've defined in this object. And so in the right hand part of our catalog window we'll take our topology object and then drag and drop it in our map and we'll click yes to add the both feature classes participating with topology to our map. We have also added the topology layer with the arrows painted in red and pink colors. To continue we need the topology toolbar, for that we'll click view, then point to toolbars, scroll this menu down and click topology. To activate the topology toolbar we'll click editor and click start editing. This pop-up on the topology toolbar contains the list of topologies added to a map. We'll click the Run Spectre button on the topology toolbar to open the Run Spectre window, where we'll make sure that the visible extent only option is unchecked. This window has a pop-up with the list of rules we've defined in the topology in the previous exercise. It helps us filter the errors according to the corresponding rule selected. We'll select one of these rules, for instance, the must have gaps rule for the street cover feature class and we'll click the search now button. The program lists all the possible cases where this rule seems to be broken. Some of these cases may not be errors and we'll simply exclude them as exceptions. We'll select the first case. It is highlighted in the black color on the map and this is an outer boundary of all the feature class as an outer boundary is inevitable by its nature. We'll not consider this case to be an error and we'll continue to the next case. We'll zoom to it this is a gap in a feature of this feature class, but uh, this gap is crowded with features of the other feature class. Therefore, this is also not an error. And we'll click the full extent button on the tools toolbar and go to the next case. This case is similar to the previous one. And generally, there is a number of the similar cases that cannot be regarded as errors but the last case is definitely an error, we'll zoom to it and we'll zoom to the most probable location of the cause of this error we'll make sure that we have selected the modify feature task in the task pop-up of the editor toolbar we'll click the edit tool button and select the feature that seems to be incorrectly drawn this vertex is definitely incorrectly placed and this is its correct location of course we'll move it to this point but to do this accurately, we need to set the snapping environment. For that, we will click Editor and click Snapping. We see that ArcMap provides us with quite a flexible way of tuning the snapping environment. In fact, we can snap vertices of a feature we are operating to vertices or edges of other features, and beside that, we can filter these other features by layers they belong to. We will click these few checkboxes. In order to make it possible uh, to snap to vertices of features of the both feature classes and close the snapping environment window and we'll point to this vertex and then drag and drop it on its correct location and we'll go to the full extent and click the clear selected features button on the tools toolbar and validate the topology so we have removed this error and we can go to the next rule for that we'll select it in the pop-up in the error inspector window and we'll click the search now button there is only one error of such a kind we'll select it then we'll right click and click zoom to now we can see this long and narrow area of overlap with the edit tool we'll click each feature adjoining to this error to examine this feature We can expect the causes of this error to be somewhere near the ends of this overlap area. We'll zoom to one of these ends, but the, the topology seems to be okay here. And we'll zoom to the second end. And now this area of overlap is clearly visible. With the edit tool, we'll select the feature that seems to be incorrectly drawn. It has at least one redundant vertex. We'll point to it, then we'll right click and click the delete vertex command. And we'll go to the full extent, clear the selected feature and validate the topology. 
thus we have removed this error also and we can continue to the next tool and we'll click the search now button there are three cases of such a kind we'll select the first one then we'll right click and click zoom to and we'll zoom to the most probable location of the cause of this error and with the edit tool we'll select the incorrectly drawn feature these three vertices are now highlighted and we'll simply move any of these vertices to the correct location and delete the other two vertices and as usually we'll go to the full extent clear the selected feature and validate the topology and we can go to the next rule and we'll click the search now button and select the first case this is an outer boundary of a block of features of the parcel feature class but this block is surrounded by features of the other feature class therefore this is not an error and almost all the other cases of that such a kind are similar to this one left except one case that is 100% an error and we'll zoom to it and we'll zoom to the most probable location of the cause of this error and we'll select the incorrectly drawn feature and snap the incorrectly placed vertex to its correct location and then we'll go to the full extent clear the selected feature and validate the topology and now we can progress to, to the last rule and we'll click the search now button there are two cases of such a kind we'll select the first one and we'll zoom to it with the edit tool we'll examine the features adjoining to this error and we see that one of these features doesn't have any vertex that should coincide with one vertex of the adjoining feature of the other feature class we can solve the situation in two alternative ways we can either delete this vertex in one of these features or on the contrary add a new vertex to the other feature and assume that we've chosen the second way and so we'll select the feature from the parcel feature class that lacks this vertex and then we'll point to the corresponding segment of its boundary with the feature of the other feature class and then we'll right click and click the insert vertex command and then we'll snap this vertex to the corresponding vertex of the other feature then we'll clear the selected feature and validate the topology and then we'll click the search now button again but there are uh, still two cases of such a kind we'll select the first one and we see that we have removed this error but only partly this is because it might have some other causes and we'll zoom to the most probable location of its second cause with the edit tool we'll examine these three features that meet in this place and we first see that uh, the two features of the parcel feature class overlap the feature from the street cover feature class and second uh, there is one more error located close to, to the error we are studying now it is uh, very easy to guess that this is the second case in the list in the error inspector window we'll select it and then we'll right click and click zoom to and we'll clear the selected feature to see this error better this error has quite a complex shape and its removing may require editing a number of vertices that can be time consuming but there is another and much better method uh, how to remove this error and first we should uh, decide which feature of these three features is correctly drawn the feature from the street cover feature class is uh, the most likely to be such a feature and we'll select any of these two cases in the error inspector window then we'll right click and click the merge command to open the merge window with the list of uh, features adjoining to the given error 
and in this list we should select the teacher that we've assumed has correctly drawn and it is flashed on the map and now we'll merge this area of overlap with this feature and at the same time we'll clip this overlap area uh, from the other feature in this list and then we'll click OK and we'll do the same in the second case And now we'll go to the full extent and uh, we'll validate the topology. We'll click the search now button. And now we see that there is no more error of such a kind. And uh, what is left for us now is to look uh, through the cases that we expect as exceptions. For that we'll select errors from all the rules in the pop-up in the error inspector window and click the search now button and we'll examine all these cases and they are either inner boundaries in some features or outer boundaries of blocks of other features so all these cases can be regarded as exceptions and we'll select all these cases keeping control pressed and then we'll right click any of them and click the mark as exception command and thus our topology is completely free of errors according to the rules we defined in, in our topology but in fact we've defined no rule that prohibits uh, gaps between uh, features belonging to the different feature classes but it is quite easy to find errors of such a kind but it is better to do with the use of some more tools of ArcMap. How to do this, I will show in the next exercise. And thank you for your attention.